Hello friends, welcome to Zeta Axis and today we are going to discuss about Eastern Ghats and their subdivisions. The Eastern Ghats are one of the oldest mountains in India. Different estimates put different age of Eastern Ghats, but they are believed to be formed around 2 billion years ago. Only Aravali mountains in Indian subcontinent are older than Eastern Ghats. On the contrary, if we compare the Western Ghats, then Western Ghats were formed around 180 to 150 million years ago, while the Himalayas were formed around 80 to 50 million years ago. The Eastern Ghats are a discontinuous chain of mountain ranges, which starts from Mahanadi in Odisha and continues till Vagai River in Tamil Nadu. The different sections of Eastern Ghats does not have any structural unity, nor were they all formed simultaneously. Most of these sections were created independent of each other. Here we can see that the Western Ghats are a continuous chain of mountains. We can see that there is no gap within the Western Ghats. But if we see the Eastern Ghats, we can see that there is discontinuous chain of mountains. We see that there are continuous mountains in the northern part of Eastern Ghats in Odisha. But as we move toward Godavari and Krishna Basin, we see that there are discontinuous chain of mountains. Now there are two principal reasons why Eastern Ghats are so discontinuous and have relatively less height. The first reason is that because the Eastern Ghats were formed around 2 billion years ago, they have been continuously eroded both by wind as well as by water. And because of this what we see today is only a remnant of great mountain ranges in the past. Second reason why Eastern Ghats are discontinuous is that the peninsular plateau has a west to east slope. Therefore, most of the rivers originating from peninsular plateau they flow in the eastern direction. These rivers over the time have eroded the mountains in their way and thus created gaps in the Eastern Ghats. The major rivers that we see today are Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri River, Purnair River and Pallar River which flow from west to east and they have carved their path. The eastern ghats show true mountains character only in the northern portion in between Mahanadi and Godavari, where the eastern ghat comprises of Malia mountain range and Madugula Konda mountain range. Jindagada peak which is 1690 meter high is located in Aluri Sitaram Raju district of Andhra Pradesh and it is the highest peak of whole of eastern ghats. Now let's see the sub ranges of Eastern Ghats. Let's start with Malia range which is located in the northern portion of Eastern Ghats. The Malia range is mainly found in Gajapati district of Odisha generally ranging between the elevations of 900 to 1200 meters. The tallest peak in this range is Mahendragiri which is 1500 meter high. Then the second important range in this region is Madugula Konda range. It is also located in the northern portion of Eastern Ghats. And it is higher than Malia range and generally ranges between 1100 to 1400 meters high. The Madugula Konda range has Jindgada peak which is the highest peak of Eastern Ghats. The next important range in Eastern Ghats is Velikonda range which has a north to south orientation and runs parallel to the eastern coast of India. The Velikanda range forms eastern flank of Eastern Ghats. The Velikanda range is located in Eastern Ghats and they are spread across YSR district, Prakasam district and Nello district of Andhra Pradesh. To the east of Velikanda lies East Coastal Plains and to the west of Velikanda mountain rise Nalamalla Hills. The Velikola mountains are relics of ancient mountains which were formed during the Cambrian period about 540 to 490 million years ago. These mountain scenes have been heavily eroded. Peneru river flows through Velikonda ranges and creates a gap within the Velikonda range. The next important mountain range in eastern Ghats is Nalamalla mountain range which is located west of Velikonda mountain range. The Nalamalla mountain ranges also have north-south orientation. To the west of Nalamalla hills is located Iramalla hills and to the north of Nalamalla hills rise Krishna river while in the south of Nalamalla hills is Sesachallam hills. The Penneru river separates Sesachallam hills and Nalamalla hills. The Nalamalla hills mainly stretch across the portions of Prakasam district, Nandayal district and Kadappa district of Andhra Pradesh. The next important mountain range is 
Iramalla mountain range. The Iramalla mountain range is located in Andhra Pradesh and they are also part of Eastern Ghats and they are located west of Nalamalla Hills. The Iramalla Hills are located on edge of Deccan Plateau. The Krishna River forms northern margin of Iramalla Hills and Peneru River marks southern boundary of Iramalla Hills. The next important mountain range is Palkonda Mountains. The Palkonda Mountains means Milk Mountains. The Palkonda Hills run across northwest to southeastern direction. The Palkonda Hills are spread mainly in Anantpuram and Kadappa district of Andhra Pradesh. The southeast extension of Palkonda range is Shisachalam Hills. Peneru River forms northern margin of Palkonda Hills and they are bounded by Rayal Sima Moplands in the west and Nandayal Valley in the northeast. The next mountain range is Shisachalam Hills. The Shisachalam Hills are part of Eastern Ghats located in southern Andhra Pradesh. The Shisachalam Hill ranges are predominantly present in Anamaya and Tripuri district of Rayal Sima region in Andhra Pradesh. The Shisachalam ranges were formed during the Precambrian age. The ranges are mainly formed of sandstone and sails. The tributaries of Penuri River drain the northern region of Shisachalam Hills. Tirupati, which is a major Hindu pilgrimage center, is also located in the Sesachalam Hills. Next is Nagri Hills, which are small hills located in Chittur and Tirupati district of Andhra Pradesh. Nagri Hills are located south of Sesachalam and Velikonda Hills. Next mountain range is Javadi Hills, which are extension of eastern ghats spread across Vellore and Tiruvannamalli district in Tamil Nadu. Palla River flows from north of Javadi Hills. Punna River separates Javadi Hills from Severoy Hills. Dense forest cover is seen on the Javadi Hills. The next important mountain range is Severoy Hills. The Severoy Hill range is situated in the northeast of Salem district of Tamil Nadu. Punna River separates Severoy Hills from Javadi Hills. The Punna River flows from the northern side of Severoy Hills. The several hills have lateritic soils, which is rich in hydrate, alumina and bauxite. The soil is mainly red sandy loam. The Shervoroy hills are also known for their coffee plantations. Next important mountain range is Panchamalli hills. The Panchamalli hills are part of Eastern Ghats and they are located in Salem and Tiruchupalli district of Tamil Nadu. Panchamalli hills are located north of Kaveri river. And the Panchamalli hills have dense scrub forests and tropical deciduous forests because of the heavy rainfall which it gets from the northeastern monsoon or retreating monsoon. The next important mountain range is Melagiri mountain ranges. These Melagiri mountain ranges are also part of eastern Ghats and they are located in Tamil Nadu. They lie between Dharampuri and Krishnagari district of Tamil Nadu on one side and are bordered by Kaveri on the Karnataka side. It is an elephant country and contains two traditional elephant corridors. Baner Ghatta National Park is located in the northeast and Kaveri Wildlife Sanctuary is located in the south. The forests are largely dry deciduous with some stretches of solar forests. The next important mountain range of Eastern Ghats is Biliranga Hills, which are located in southwestern Karnataka and Erode district of Tamil Nadu. It is in Biliranga Hills, Eastern Ghats join Nilgiri Hills of Western Ghats. The Biliranga Hills are the tallest hill range in the Eastern Ghats with many peaks above 1500 meters in height. The area has been declared as a Biliranga Ramanatha Swami Temple Wildlife Sanctuary in sorry it is called BRT Wildlife Sanctuary and it is also a tiger reserve. The Biliranga Hills show fauna and flora of both Eastern Ghats and Western Ghats. I hope now you know all the subdivisions of Eastern Ghats if you have liked the video, then do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching the video.